And the thing about um, the weekdays, you know, Monday through Friday, the slave days, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> the, the weekdays, um, the week, literally just think about how many, it means you're weak. But anyway, um, I could sit here and peel apart the entire English language, and if these videos get enough views, I might do it, and if I want to do it, I think I might do it, either way, whether or not people support my content or not, um, but they will, <coughs> law of attraction, <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, but I could sit here and peel apart the entire English language, um, I've actually seen it happen before, like I told you, from one of my crazy astral experiences, where everything was just peeled apart, and I was just seeing how, like, weekdays means that you're in a daze, so during Monday through Friday, you're just in a daze, but it's weak. But you're not really conscious of the bullshit that you're going through. And then by the time that you're out of the daze, you're on the weekend, you know, Saturday, Sunday, you're weakened. So what do you do on Saturday, Sunday? You, you grab a beer, you go party, you go forget the fact that Everybody's working for the weekend. Bitch, that was all made up. This whole fucking society, every object in this room is just made up. And no, that's not crazy. I mean, like, somebody... This book... Well, this book has the cure for cancer and the cure for coronavirus. It just so happened to be sitting here, so I'll use it as an example. This book was just an idea in somebody's mind, and they said, you know, paper. Oh, somebody invented paper. Somebody invented all these structures. Somebody thought of every word on every single page. Everything in here is man-made. Just like society is man-made. Just like the words we use were man-made constructed for a certain purpose. Um, I dropped a lot of wisdom bombs right there and they're a little bit intertwined and they're a little bit confusing for those who aren't um, awakened. So I'll let you peel those apart, but I will sit here and peel apart the entire English language if I have to, uh, if I want to. Um, there are people who are trying to kill me, so if I die before that happens, just know I was onto something. Uh, either way, I'm onto something. Like, the weekend and the weekdays. Finally, you're weakened. Like, it's right in your fucking face. And that's, like, the best place to put it, because... I mean, when somebody, like, hypnotizes you, what do they do? They, they fucking put it right in your face, don't they? That's it. Uh, I once read in... This wasn't an ancient text. It was, a. Uh, I don't know where I read it, but I read that their magic only works if it's exposed to you. Because that's the only way into the subconscious mind. That's the only way to take control of somebody else's reality is to infiltrate their subconscious mind to the point where they're not conscious of it. Because if they were conscious of it, uh, there'd be a revolution overnight. But to make it unconscious, to make it subconscious, to make them in a daze and weak so they don't have time to revolt because the, all their time is spent on Netflix escaping their shitty lives, drinking beer, which is promoted at, while marijuana is suppressed. Come on, wake the fuck up. So yeah, I might sit here and decode the entire English language and show you how each fucking word in the dictionary has a negative connotation and how we can fix that. Because what can be done can be undone. And yeah, that goes on for eternity. Yeah. Um, this is coming from a physics major. This is coming from a psychology major. Uh, this is coming from somebody who reads books on their own time, and questions the institution, the schools, the colleges, the high schools. Don't get me wrong, I'm getting my PhD in physics, but that is not where my real education will be coming from. So stay tuned. Um, namaste. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is just a little addition to the last video I made. Um, these words, your, your subconscious mind takes these words literally it manifests them. Your subconscious mind takes everything and then spits it back out into your reality. So if you think you're having weak days, why would you keep... Look at Dr. Emoto's water experiment. Seriously, this is so important. Look at Dr. Emoto's water experiment where he projects feelings and thoughts and emotions into water and then the molecular structure of the water changes. 
That's how your physical reality changes with words. So give them a fucking positive meaning. Forgive my swearing, forgive my spelling, and forgive the fact that I look like I just woke up at 3 a.m. and I've been kept awake for days and held hostage, because I have been. All the best people are. I mean, look at Tesla, he could have. <sighs> okay, here's one last thing I'd like to quote. It's actually from Epic Rap Battles, Nikola Tesla versus uh, Thomas Edison. He says, and if the people knew you stopped me from making power free, they would curse the Con Edison with every utility. Go watch Tesla versus Edison and you will see how consciousness, energy, technology, and colleges are being held back. They are being suppressed for profit, for money, and for something a bit more valuable than money. It's called energy. It's not a game of billionaires like the Rothschilds sitting on a throne of fucking money. You think they fucking care about money when they can materialize money out of thin air because this planet is ruled by anti-masters who have awakened their psychic powers? There's your fucking answer. And yes, they know what's going on. They are the ones controlling this entire coronavirus bullshit going on right now. It's fake. It's fake. This bitch cured cancer. <laughs> that just sounds funny. I, like, all, all the other spiritual girls, they're like, love and light, love and light. I'm just like, this bitch cured cancer. What's up? It's 3 a.m. I'm fucking tired. I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of living on this planet full of fucking... Well, I'm just gonna end the video there. <laughs> Namaste. Seriously, go watch that video, though. Um, Nikola Tesla versus Thomas Edison. It will show you how... They straight up lie and suppress technology, such as the cure for cancer, such as the cure for free energy for everything. They suppress technology. They suppress science. Science and medicine, I mean, it's just the church and the... Just go watch the fucking video.